Hello YouTube land, this is Tony again. I thought I would make another video since um, the spirit is willing this morning. Sometimes, you know, you have to do that. If you got the energy to do something, it's kind of like doing the laundry and doing the dishes. If you suddenly get the disgusting feeling to do the dishes, then you just do them because you're not going to, I mean, I don't know what kind of madness that is. Um, today I want to talk about two books by a fellow named James Holland. Now, James Holland is a up-and-coming historian. He's a younger guy, even though he's starting to turn gray like I am. You see him a lot in um, documentaries on the History Channel, Discovery Channel. Um, he's had a lot of appearances. So I read a couple of his books recently. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is The Battle of Britain. Now this one... Unlike some of the other books I've talked about, it's a good book. It's well-written, entertaining. Uh, it's written from the point of view of individuals involved. So he talks... <clears throat> his, his account is from the point of view of certain people that he follows through the thread of the stories. The biggest criticism I have about this book is that the Tudor title of Britain does not actually begin until... That's Dunkirk. Until around about here. Halfway through the book. This this other part up here is he literally recounts pretty much everything from the start of the war, even before the war, until they get to the Battle of Britain. So you got to get through this before you even get to the subject of the book. Now, that's not... I thought it was a bad thing. Because I personally already know somewhat about this part. Uh, I guess if you're a total noob, <laughs> if, if you're not really, um, if you're just starting in an interest in military history in World War II, I suppose I'd be okay, because he's going to talk about stuff you may not know. For me, it was just like, all right, all right, I know, I know. You know, he does, he talks about Dunkirk in here, uh, about, so, I mean, if you've seen the movie, this is another source of information if you want to know about it. If you didn't want to buy a separate book on Dunkirk and a book on the Battle of Britain. Um, other than that, it, it's well written. He, Holland writes in very fast and exciting prose. He almost writes like a journalist. He doesn't write so much like a historian. He almost writes like some of the journalists I've read. Very fast, very... Um, I wouldn't say exciting, but just a prose that doesn't really get too plodding or pedantic like sometimes they can get. I'm looking at you, Evans. <laughs> no, I like him too. Um, the second book is James Holland has started a grand work, a grand duvre, as they would say in French. Uh, now, Ian Kershaw came out with his two volume book on Hitler. Uh, um, Evans, what's your name again? Evans, Professor Evans. He came out with the three volume a uh, treatise on the Third Reich. This is basically the standing work on the subject. So I guess James Holland is now launching himself into that territory. And this is the first book in a planned series of, I think he's going to make three. The second one is already out. I just haven't bought it yet. It's still in hardcover. It's called The Allies Strike Back. wonder where he got that there. <laughs> um, the second one is out. It's still in hardback, and I didn't want to buy the hardback kind of, I'm a little short of money right now, so I'm saving my pennies, uh, but um, hopefully I can get the soft cover when it comes out. But I did read the first one. It's actually pretty good. I thought it was better than his other book. He still writes very staccato, very rapid. Uh, if you really, he doesn't really drill down in depth on a lot of things, but he covers a lot of things in here. He, um, Covers from all sides. He'll, he'll dedicate a few chapters from Hitler's point of view, the Germans' point of view, a few chapters from the Americans' point of view, a few chapters from the British' point of view, and he'll quote, he'll write as if he's seen from their point of view. He writes, and then Churchill said blah, 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 and then they went over here, and then Dowding put up his radar sights. Uh, so he writes as if he's writing about characters. But, of course, done historically, you know, I'm sure it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate. I haven't noticed anything really um, inaccurate about many of the books I read. I did with John Tolan's book on Hitler, but I feel it was written in 76, 
and so it's really old and unfortunately I think that he uh, took David Irving as a valid source because David Irving in the 70s was still kind of halfway okay he hadn't come out and went completely mad with kill the Jews so and then he hadn't been totally defrocked either because uh, Professor Evans and some others during that Holocaust I have to make a video on that that Holocaust trial is very interesting. Anyway, getting back to here. Uh, so, very good book. Um, and I can recommend both if you're into that sort of thing. And thank you for watching my video. I hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, have a good day.